Howdy, Internet. It's your old friend Dominic here with the All-American Casino Guide, and I'm doing another one of our late-night poker shootouts. That's where the All-American Casino Guide crew, a.k.a. my deputies, get together and play a little online poker with each other, and then I critique them after the fact, giving them some feedback of what they could have done differently, what they did right, or what they simply did horribly, horribly wrong. So without further ado, let's take a look at the hands and see what happens. So I always like to pick my pre-flop favorite, which hand I think is gonna win just by looking at the pre-flop. King Jack on suit with diamonds just jumps out at me. Uh, I, I have said many times over, sometimes all it takes to win is an ace. So I'm not gonna count Ho Horace's hand out with the ace seven. Uh, Allison's the small, Vendrick's the big, Horace is in for the big, PM Star's in, Bluffin's all in. Not all in, but he's in for the, 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 the big blind anyway. Uh, looks like Allison's in for her, the rest. Vendrick has an option. Let's roll the cards. Three, ten, six. Allison has the first option. She's got a pair of tens. She's feeling pretty confident. She's got top pair. She checks to Vendrick, who's got jack high. He checks Allison, ace high. Checks, check, bluffing. He's in for 500. He's got three diamonds. Straight draw going on here. 500 from Allison, she calls. V Vendrick's probably gonna fold, even though he's three cards to a straight. Fold from Horace as well. PM Star folds. Five of clubs, no help there for bluffing. Okay, check, check, two of clubs. That's two pair now for Allison. She's sitting pretty. Checks to bluffing. He's in for 1500, hopefully she calls. She folds! Wow! I mean, she had two pair, and there weren't any face cards on the board. I just, I really don't know why she did that, to be honest with you. Like, she had top pair. I mean, all she would be worried about is if someone was sitting with fish hooks, or uh, queens, or kings in their hands, or, or a pocket aces. But even if they had a pocket pair, it wouldn't have done any good because there was no pairs on the table. So I don't know what she was thinking. She had two pair. That was, that was, uh, I mean, I guess she could have been afraid of a possible flush, but I guess I, I technically was right <laughs> about which hand was gonna win. Okay, so uh, we have another hand here. Uh, again, bluffing all day has King Jack on suit. That's, he got dealt the same hand. That's pretty convenient. Uh, <laughs> pretty unlikely too. Uh, King four and Vendrick, King four in Allison's hands. Uh, I'm, gonna st I'm gonna stick with King Jack on suit. I still think that's a great hand. Okay, PM Star's in for 100, bluffing. He might re-raise, he might raise rather. Nope, 100's good for him. Allison, she might raise. She's, she's aggressive like that. Nope, 100 bucks. Looks like everyone's in for 100. Roll the cards. Queen, 10, 8. First option, uh, check, check. PM Star's got a pair of queens. She's in for 500. Uh, Bluffin raises to 1,000. I mean, he's got 10, jack, queen, king. All he needs is a 9 or an ace. He's in for 1,000. There's another 8, so a pair of 8's out there. Two pair for PM Star, 8's and queens. She checks to, to Bluffin. He's in for 500. She folds. Wow, a, two great plays by Bluffin, man. He is really hitting his stride, making these aggressive bets. I mean, I guess I, I said he was gonna win, and he did, technically, so right now I'm doing great. I've picked two winners in a row. But he's just playing the he's just playing his cards fantastically because the, he's getting the, the winning hands to lay their to lay their hands down. Pre-showdown. Okay. So Allison's got Queen. 10, and I like that hand this particular round. Okay, so I'm gonna pick that as my pre-flop favorite. Uh, she's gonna decide now if she's gonna be in for 100. Is she in for 100? She's taking her time. She likes to do this, no, she checks, she, she folds. The hand I picked pre-flop to be, just folds pre-flop. Uh, okay, uh, nine, king, jack, okay, so uh, nine, king, jack, nothing there for Horace. PM Star checks. Bluffin's got a pair of kings. He bets 100. 
Vendrick's got a pair of nines. He sees the hundred. Horace, he's in for a hundred. Hundred's not going to scare anybody away. So unless your goal is just to push push up the pot, the pot a little bit. So now it's two pairs. Jack on the turn. Uh, kings and jacks for for uh, bluffing. Who's got a decision to make if he wants to chase four hundred? He raises to twelve. Vendrick folds. Horace has to decide if he calls or re-raises. He calls. Two of spades. There's four spades on the board. That's a flush for Horace. <laughs> he's in for. He's all in for 7,900. Of course, Bluffin sees what's on the board. He folds. Okay. Next hand. Let's see. Let's take a look here. Uh, six queen on suit. Is that my favorite? No. My favorite's the pocket threes. No, you know what? I changed my mind because I see now that uh, Vendrick's got 3 9, and I don't think pocket threes are going to win out. I think it's actually going to be the 7 8 offsuit. 7 8 offsuit is going to be the win big hand. PM Star is going to win this hand. So Horace has a pair of threes. He's in for 200. PM Star calls. Bluffin calls. Allison taking her damn sweet time to decide. She wants to chase 150 bucks. She calls Vendrick. He's in. Okay. Queen seven four. Allison's got a pair of queens. She's in for 945. Vendrick's got nothing. Queen high. He folds. Uh, Horace pushes in 900. PM star folds. So again, Obviously, my pre-flop pick isn't going to win, even though they would have had a pair of sevens now. Two grand coming from Bluffin, who's really loving his two pair, sevens and fours. Two grand, yep, call, call, call. Five of diamonds, no help there. Check, check. And Bluffin has the option. He goes in for four grand. He likes his two pair. He wants to get some more chips out of everyone. Fold off of Allison. Horace folds. Bluffin has won three hands now in a row without showing his hand at the showdown, all because he's just betting really smart. Okay, so pre-flop, I'm looking at the hands here. Uh, pair twos, two five, ace two, so definitely not gonna pick any twos. Seven king, pre-flop, I'm telling you, is gonna be the win. <laughs> uh, PM star folds, pre-flop. Looks like everyone's in. Vendrick's deciding if he wants to chase. He raises to 200. Horace has an option now. He's in for 200 on a pair of twos. 610 off suit. Bluffin's in. All right, 800 in the pot. Four king king. Looks like uh, trip kings for Allison. Seven king. I told you seven king was going to win the hand. I told you. Told you. <laughs> Two pair for Horace kings and twos. Oh my god, four kings! What's better than three kings? Four kings! All right, Horace has now got a full house. He's going to bet a thousand. Allison's going to easily call him. Uh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, Horace is all in for ten grand. It's a call. It's not looking good. Oh, monstrous hand! 27,000 in chips. I told you that seven king was going to win. I told see that's years of experience. So that was the last hand and it was a doozy. Four kings. You don't see that as often as you would think. Uh, quite a shocker, especially when a player has to lay their full house down to a four of a kind. Ah, it hurts hurts to watch. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed that particular video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. But not before clicking the clacking that like button, pounding that big red subscribe button, joining our posse, ringing ding dinging that dinner bell, and making sweet, sweet love to that share button. My name is Dominic. This is the All-America Casino Guide wishing you luck and reminding you as always, play responsibly. <laughs>